It was a savage crime that ended two bright futures. Since George Hughley was arrested, people involved in the case have said almost nothing. But now there's talk of a plea deal. Yardley Love's tragic murder just weeks before graduation last May rocked the University of Virginia campus to its core. The entire university community is both shocked and saddened uh, over the news of Ms. Love's death by the hand of a murderer. She was a wonderful person. She was so vibrant, so happy all the time. Um, just a really great friend. The accused is Love's ex-boyfriend and fellow lacrosse player George Hughley. After his arrest, he admitted to drunkenly slamming Love's head against the wall during a fight in the early morning hours of May 3rd, but insists the 22-year-old was alive when he left the apartment. We are confident that Ms. Love's death was not intended, but an accident with a tragic outcome. Prosecutors charge Hughley with first-degree murder. If convicted, he could spend the rest of his life in jail. But now, according to a report in the Washington Examiner, plea deal negotiations have begun. They would prevent the case from ever going to trial. Plea deals result in 95% of criminal cases, including murder cases, and that's because both sides want the finality of a deal. It ends up resolving the case and there are no appeals. Following his arrest, new details emerged about Hughley's troubled past. There were charges for a 2008 altercation with police, public intoxication, and allegations that he'd previously been violent with love. As the school year came to a close last spring, students and faculty came together to mourn Yardley Love's passing. They celebrated a promising life cut short. My hope for Yardley and for you is that her dying inspires an anger, a sense of outrage that no woman need ever fear for her safety. If the case does move forward, George Hughley is scheduled to appear in court on January 21st. Harry. All right, Witt Johnson, thank you so much.